Hi there, my name is Scott Lawrence. I'm going to show you the process that I use to synchronize two video streams recorded by our 3D camera rig. Um, you can see here that I have the uh, uh, Final Cut Pro loaded up and I have a browser with a new project in it. I'm going to drag in two video clips that were uh, captured earlier. Um, normally you would capture your left tape and your right tape, um, but here I've already done that, so it's just a little easier. Um, they're also named wrong. These should say left two and right two, but that's besides the point. Okay, so what I do is when I record these, and you will see this shortly, I have a, uh, I, I snap my fingers a couple times, and then uh, here I will uh, synchronize them up together, and I will show you that. Um, let's get into that there. Okay, so what I like to do is have the right video channel beneath the left one. So let's get both left and the right into place and I will set this on top of the other track. See how they are lined up. Um, if we were to look at this now, you'll see that there is a video track there. Let's get that out of the way. Um, and if I were to see if I play it, you can see that there's the left and there's the right and they don't line up with each other at all yet. So let's take care of that. Let's uh, zoom in. So here we have the beginning. You can see there my uh, finger snapping. So what I do is I use the arrow keys to line back up with one of the snaps and if you watch the the VU meters you can actually see the peak usually. Problem is is that this was recorded in a very noisy environment so you're, it's going to be hard to pick that out by just looking at the VU meters so if you just listen to the audio you can actually hear it. So. There it is. Okay, so from here, I just trim that track right up to where the cursor position is. Now I do the same thing with the, the left track. Let's find it in there. Skip this back right there. You can actually see that one, how it went high. Okay line that up, line that up, and actually if I uh, had remembered to view that you could actually see it there. Okay, so now we have these two clips and uh, if I were to turn one on and off you can actually see that they are perfectly lined up with each other even on a very blurry shot you can tell. there we go.